morning. So this summer, uh, these willows over here are on the edge of the parking lot on the fairgrounds. And over the years, these trees have grown out over the roadway where you couldn't park a horse trailer up tight against it. So more and more, they were stretching out into the into the roadway out here, and people were having a hard time getting through. Um, I didn't know it at the time, <laughs> but I guess they were not wanting people to park there anymore. But uh, I don't think you could stop them anyway. There's too many people, and if there's a spot to squeeze in, they will. And uh, there really isn't enough room. We kind of need all the parking we can get. So last summer, I cut a bunch of those willows out of there, the, the big branches that were sticking out over the road, and piled them up and figured this winter we'd burn them and kind of have a little barn fire get together with some friends and things. And it wasn't ever supposed to be a, <laughs> a big deal. Uh, a couple of my friends are twin brothers, and uh, their birthday was a couple of days ago. So I told them, well, shoot, you know, why don't you come on by and we'll throw a match on this pile of sticks and open a beer. That's all it was supposed to be. Well, Cindy, <laughs> Cindy likes to have a lot of people over. So this has turned into kind of a big thing. I didn't nearly expect it to be a big party or anything, but uh, she's got all sorts of folks coming over. <sighs> so I hope this pile of sticks burns. They were green willows in August, and the willow dries really slowly. Well, we'll see. In the meanwhile, though, I bought her a really neat, like a witch's pot for Christmas. And she wants to use that and make a big stew or something. So she needs a tripod. So that's what I'm doing today. This is what I bought her. It's really pretty cool. The uh, It's 10 quarts. The pot part of it is about the size of a basketball. The legs on it are probably 4 inches, maybe a little more. It's got a lid on it that... Uh, has a, a rim on it. You could actually use it the same as a Dutch oven also.
We need two of them, that shape, and one with the ring. And what you do is you poke one of them through the ring like that. And go up through. Ah, can't do this one handed. Okay, so you just poke them both through the ring like that. And then you have a tripod. This one here with the ring on it is a little long. I should probably cut off a couple inches, but it might be okay like that. So now, from here, I need to either make some hooks, kind of big, long S hooks, so you can vary the height of the uh, cook pot off of, or I could just hook a chain over one of these here and hang it down that way. Kind of crude, but it'll work. The reason for making these hooks like this instead of uh, just three, three rings and intertwine them, intertwine them the way you would a chain is you can do it like this too. You can put this not going to stay. Um, you know, you can make a make a fire thing like that too. Just pound the two hooked ones into the ground, put this one as a cross piece, and then you got something to hang them off of also. So you got both the tripod and you have a, I don't know what that other one's called, kind of a H-frame fire iron set. This funny looking thing, able to bend without heating it in the vise, it'll just go, let's see, like that. And I got a hook to hang the chain off of. Hang the cook pot off of that. Get this thing a coat of black paint, it won't look too terrible. That ought to do the trick. That way if you need to raise or lower it, you can just grab this and take it off and hook the chain a little tighter or a little looser and throw it back on there. Anyway, we're planning to use this thing tomorrow night. I'll get a quick coat of black paint and give her a try. Well, he's got a couple dollars out right before he left. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 Yeah